I have some leftover fabric. This is some sweatshirt fabric that I purchased a while ago and I made a jacket out of it and I had just enough left so I was like what can I make and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and make some knit pants this is McCall 7198 and I only have enough to make view B which is the shorter length pants but I'm okay with that and I love that I can wear it with the jacket that I made so yeah that's what I'm gonna work on I need to cut the pattern out I just fit it on here just to see if it was gonna work. Now I need to like really cut it out and press it. I recently bought this glue pen and it's really, really nice. I used it for the first time today. So this is glue and you take it and when you want to like temporarily adhere something, you rub the glue on your fabric and then, you know, you can just stick it down and you can stitch over it and it will stay. The glue pen does come with one refillable glue stick. So I use this glue stick to help me put pockets on the front of the pants. So I don't know how these are gonna look, but I had extra fabric so I was like, okay, why not just add a few little pockets to the front. I also had some of this leftover patchwork denim fabric, so I made this skirt. I didn't add the flaps over the pockets or the D-ring embellishments around the waist area. And I also cut the front and back pieces on the fold so that I wouldn't have a center seam going down the front or the back. I thought I would try the pants on. Here's how they look with the pockets in the front. The pockets are not very big at all but I'm okay with that. Now I just need to add one inch elastic to the top here and then fold that down to create a little waistband and then I'll be all done. I don't even think I'm gonna hem these. I had to stop sewing my pants because I have to make a few errands and this is what I'm wearing for the day. <laughs> Where temperatures are expected to top out at 108, excessive heat warnings also lasting through Thursday. In our mountain communities with a high today tomorrow in the upper 80s. So it's going to be hot, hot, hot. Hundreds, 80s. Yeah, I like it though. I love hot weather. My car is so dirty. I think it's been weeks. Well, I know it's been several, several weeks since I've had my car wash. So I'm stopping at the car wash right now. I know this car is going to be so happy to see some water and some soap. I'll be happy too. It looks like a new vehicle once it's washed. Good morning. My name is Asha. Thank you. Um, I just want to let you know right now the vacuums are down. Um, so I don't know if you want to come back later. They should be up in about like an hour maybe. You know what? I actually wasn't planning the vacuum, okay. so okay, it'll no be worries. okay. I had to think about that for a minute. That's fine. Yeah, okay, no worries. Um, all right, and were you looking to start an unlimited membership with us today? Ah, uh, no, thank you. I'll just do the good wash. Yeah, of course. I think you're all set now. Have okay, a day. thank Thanks you. So you much. too. Why did the car just stop? Okay, this is so weird. The car is supposed to be moving and it's like just sitting here. Oh, there we go. I was like, wait a minute now. It feels so good when you come out of a place that's freezing cold and then when you get outside, it's like so hot. Oh, it just feels like a warm hug. I just left savers. I went in there looking for sheets, seeing if I could find something that I could use for fabric, but I didn't see anything that I really liked. I do need some elastic to go in these white pants that I'm making. I have some black one inch elastic, but I know if I put that black elastic in these white pants, I know that you'll be able to see the black elastic through the pants. So I'm on my way to Joanne Fabrics and I'm gonna see if I can get some white elastic. And I think I'll get a couple of packs so I'll have some on hand. And then I'm also going to now the singular see if I can find some fabric. I looked around and I actually didn't end up buying any fabric at all. I washed the pants and when they came out of the dryer they had a little curl at the bottom and I actually like that. 
I decided to wear the pants with Vogue 1945, this hoodie. Here are the front pockets, which I really ended up liking. Here's the fit in the back and the side view. The pockets that I put on the pants are from Butterick 5926 view a and also i think these are the same pockets on view b this is the jacket that i made out of the same fabric it is a nomi pattern and it has front pockets which i really like and i did lengthen it so it was supposed to be like at your waist or maybe a little higher i think it's kind of cropped i think but anyway i decided to lengthen it and it also was supposed to have a zipper up the front and I eliminated the zipper so it's more of kind of like a cardigan like a hooded cardigan but it's made out of sweatshirt fabric so I'm gonna show you how it looks with the pants Okay, baby, look at my new outfit. Tell me what you think. Oh, you want to sweat? Huh? You want to sweat suit? Yeah, a little sweat suit. I didn't. I left that bottoms raw on purpose and they kind of curled up. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a cute little look. It's different. It is different. My husband and I met up with another couple for a virtual reality experience. We had to get all geared up. We had to put some things on our wrists and our legs. I had a little trouble, so I had to get some help from my husband. Hold this up where it looks clear for me. So grab the headset by the front. Right here. Mm -hmm. And then hold it up where it looks clear. If it's blurry, move it up or down where it's sitting. Okay, it's pretty clear. I'm gonna keep holding it there. I'm gonna tighten everything down. Bring it up. Hello. Right. How's that looking? Can you hear me? It's fine. That virtual reality experience was so fun. I didn't know what to expect because I'd never done anything like that before, but it was like these monsters coming at you from all angles, front, back, and you had weapons and you had to aim and try to shoot them and get them off of you, yeah. But it felt so real. I was in there screaming and hollering and jumping. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, so I'm glad I got to experience it.